Welcome back to Creative Cooking. If you are new to my channel, my name is Dr. Kajal and today we are making butterscotch ice cream. If you want more such recipes on ice creams, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel. To make butterscotch ice cream, we would need a full cream milk. Here I have got milk where the malai or the cream content is more. I am directly going to use this milk and I am not going to boil this. Uh, directly because when you boil and when you cool it down the malai separates and we don't want that milk so directly we will be measuring two and a half cups of milk from here along with this we have got condensed milk powdered sugar this is just the regular sugar not the icing sugar regular sugar I have just grinded it in the mixer and we have got milk powder so let's begin with the recipe Now you can see here I have put the milk to boil. I will stir the milk with the whisk so the malai or cream doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now you can see the milk has come to a boil. Keep the flame on low and add half cup of condensed milk. Now add 1 fourth cup of milk powder, add 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar, whisk everything well. Now we will simmer this on a low flame for 5 to 7 minutes. When it is simmering on low flame, don't forget to whisk this intermittently so that the milk solids do not settle at the bottom of the pan. It's been 7 minutes now and I have switched off the flame. As you can see the milk amount has been reduced. Now we will allow this to cool down. The milk mixture has completely cooled down. Now we will add half teaspoon of butterscotch essence. Combine everything using a whisk. Now we'll take a mold. I have got aluminium tin over here. If you don't have this, you can also use a plastic container. We'll pour the ice cream base into the mold and cover this up using an aluminium foil. Make sure that you seal the aluminium foil from all the sides and our ice cream is ready to go into the freezer. We will freeze this for around 12 hours or overnight. Heat a pan and add 100 grams of sugar. Now reduce the heat to the lowest. Keep stirring this at intervals. And here you can see the sugar has started to melt. It's very important to keep on stirring so that the sugar doesn't get burnt. This is the perfect consistency that we are looking out for in this recipe. Now we will add the powder of around 8 almonds. I have coarsely ground them in the mixer. Just add it to the caramelized sugar and mix it on a low flame. Once done, we will now add this entire mixture onto a butter paper. It's a good idea to grease the butter paper with little butter and then add the caramel sugar almond mixture on it. Now spread the mixture on the butter paper and allow it to cool down completely. Now you can see the butterscotch nut base or praline is completely cooled down. I am going to fold the butter paper and using a rolling pin I will crush this into small crumbs. Now we will collect these nuts into a bowl and keep it ready for our ice cream. Our butterscotch ice cream is ready now. I had refrigerated this for 5 hours then I took it out, blended once in the mixer. So if there are any ice crystals it gets broken down till the ice cream becomes smooth. Put it back into the container and then refrigerated this overnight. So let's see how our butterscotch ice cream has turned out. I am totally excited.
Wow, this looks delicious. The ice cream looks properly set. It looks wonderful. Wow, this ice cream has really turned out good. The ice cream already has butterscotch flavor. To top it up, we are going to add our homemade butterscotch nuts. This is absolutely delicious and the best recipe to go in the summer season. So I hope you guys like my recipe at Creative Cooking. I'm going to come up with two more ice cream recipes. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.